Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to dehydrate some beets. First off, I'm going to cut off both ends. I'm actually going to cut them in half. And then I will, I don't, you can't, I can't really show you, maybe I can, but I'm going to take a brush and scrub them really well. Then I'm going to put them in the, uh, the pressure cook um, button for five minutes and they're supposed to come out so that the skins come right off. So again I'm gonna clean them with the brush. And then cut them in half. And then I'm going to do this until I get as many as I think I need to fill up my pressure canner. I mean my dehydrator, sorry. And um, then I will show you how I'm going to cut them up after that. Okay, so just so you know, I put a, one of the cups of water in the bottom of this Instapot. And I have it on ceiling. I'm going to put this on just like that. I'm going to hit pressure cook. And I'm going to put five minutes. No, not 45 minutes. Let's see if that does it. There it goes on. So it's going to do its thing. And then um, I will be back to show you how I'm going to cut them. All right. So my beets have... Um, come out of the pressure cooker and the skins pretty much peel right off. Just using my thumb to peel them. You know what, I think I'm going to use a knife actually so I do not have red fingers when I'm done. I'm going to use a butter knife just to kind of slide across them. See how nicely peeled? I'm going to do that with all of them. And then, I know this is going to sound weird, but then I'm going to go ahead and put the skins on the dehydrator trays also and dehydrate them. 
um, so I can use them for like soups and stuff. I love how these are peeling. I used, uh, just a reminder, I used the pressure cooker, the Instant Pot part, and I put it on for five minutes. I'm going to put gloves on because, again, I don't want my fingers to be red tomorrow. I should have done that beforehand. So I'm going to dehydrate these in my Beast Tenali uh, dehydrator at 131 degrees and I'm just going to crank the time up to 12, uh, 18 hours, well 19 I like, and then um, I will get them started when I first put the first batch in. I'm going to go ahead and slice some of these and get them on a tray. My tray liners are clean, they're just stained. I'm just going to chop. Then approximately the same size. And I'm hoping to be able to eat some of these as beet chips. I think that would be really tasty. And 
going to slide these on here. Go ahead and put them in the dehydrator. I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of the trays and I'll be back to tell you how many trays I got full. Alright, so I came back to tell you that I had six trays of beet slices and then I used both my leftover trays for the skins and the one isn't got very much in it at all. It could have done it all in one, but I decided not to. And I will be back when they're done.